Hey guys, it's Parav from PD Tech HD, and here I am bringing you a hands-on of the newly announced Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So, let's get started. The S6 Edge is a variant of Samsung's flagship S6 smartphone, but with a dual edge display. The device itself is 7mm thin, and not sure if it's just me, but compared to the S6 which I also briefly tried, I found it a bit slippery and hard to grip. It almost felt too thin. Don't get me wrong, the metal and glass additions to the device make it feel very solid and premium in the hand. I just wish it was slightly thicker to allow for more grip. Let's go back to that display. The S6 Edge display is 5.1 inches with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels, which gives an astounding 577 pixels per inch. I don't think any phone out right now comes close to that, and the display is just gorgeous. Many other bloggers were saying it feels like the wallpaper was painted on, and in my use the display looked very crisp, and it was just a sight to behold. Viewing angles were also decent and there's a bit of eye candy as when you swipe through the home screens it literally goes off the edge. The camera is 16 megapixels like on the Galaxy S5 but now comes with an f1.9 aperture lens meaning better low light performance and a shallower depth of field. Here are some sample images I took with the device to give you an idea. To the side of the camera module you have a new infrared heart rate monitor and a single LED flash. The camera can capture 20 megapixel images with support for 4K recording. Launching the camera is as simple as double pressing the home button. Before this would give you access to S Voice. You can also hold down the home button to get to Google Now. So what's the benefit to the curved displays on either side then? Well, when you swipe in from the right, you get quick access to any five contacts, and each one is assigned a color. This is known as People Edge. From here, you can tap on any one to either call or message them. If any one of these five people call you, when the phone is face down, the edge of the phone flashes the color of the corresponding person. You also have information stream, so again, when the phone is laid flat, you can see the time, date, and weather. The S6 Edge comes equipped with a 2.1GHz quad-core Exynos chip, coupled with 3GB of RAM, keeping things running fluid and quick. I have to say, in the short time I used it, I really didn't notice any lag when either swiping through home screens, opening apps, or navigating multitasking. The phone just flies. It will be interesting to see how it fares after future updates, but for now this is one Samsung device that is lag-free, and that's a great thing in my book. So how about that battery life? Well, I didn't use it long enough to say, but what I can say is the battery on the edge is 2600 milliamp hours, which Samsung say give 12 hours of continuous web browsing over Wi-Fi. Something natively integrated now into the phone is wireless charging. Yes, no more extra back covers or pads. This device has it right out of the box. One killer feature of the battery is fast charging. Samsung claims a 10 minute charge equates to four hours of use. Sadly, this battery is non-removable, and there isn't a micro SD card slot here either. Two features that I personally wanted to see. I figured one of them might go, but it's a shame that they both went. The good news on the storage front is that the base model is 32GB, and hopefully with the slimming down Samsung has made to TouchWiz, there will be plenty of actual usable storage for the end user once the device releases. I just want to mention one nifty software feature that Samsung has thrown in before rounding up. Smart Manager is a new application which lets you check an array of useful information very quickly and easily. You can view detailed information about your battery, even telling you how much longer you'll get if you have ultra power saving mode on. You can clear unnecessary temp or cached files to speed up your device, eliminating the need for apps like CleanMaster. You can free up your RAM like you could before, but now you get a nice animation and a better visual representation as well. And finally, you can scan your device for malware in real time. A um, couple of questions before rounding up. Yeah, sure. Um, so one of the main things with touch is some people say um, it causes a bit of lag on the device. Obviously from the short demo and the time that I've used it, there's been no lag. What sort of software optimizations has Samsung done with the hardware? Um, the new Exynos processor, for example, has got 3 gig of RAM. What have they done in the software to optimize it so there's literally no lag? So one of the things that we've done is to reduce uh, all of the options that their users used to have. So if you use the contacts menu as a start, if you go into the more menu on the S5 or the Note 4, you would have eight different options down here. Instead, now we just have four. So what we've done is we've streamlined the whole UI, literally from the ground up, to take the features that our customers use most and bring them to the forefront. And then in every way, we've improved the transitions between um, screens. We've taken away the prompts that used to pop up. For example, if you went into airplane mode, 
on a, one of our previous generation devices and you hit flight mode, it would then pop up a menu and ask you if you really wanted to do that. Yeah. Now it just does it. So because we're in the, the smartphone age is at a mature stage now, our users know how to use their phones, so we don't need to keep reminding them. And that improves the performance of the device completely. Um, and pricing and availability for the UK market of the S6 and S6 Edge. So, firstly, we can't tell you exactly when it's going to come out. It will be Q2 2015, and then pricing will be retailer dependent. Okay. All right. Thanks for your time. No worries. That's all I have for now. Like I said, I did also try out the Galaxy S6, and while the only difference between the S6 and the S6 Edge is the display and battery, if you want to hear my thoughts on the S6, then leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for this day one upload. Big thanks to Samsung for inviting me to Google London to be able to try out the new devices, and stay tuned for more tech videos coming soon. I may even end up purchasing the S6 Edge. Lord knows it will be a sweet upgrade from my by the day dying and crack screen S3. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.